hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here thank you so much for joining and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like this video we're gonna get started right away so we're gonna be using black hookers green or sap green and turquoise we'll also be using some titanium white and here we've got titanium white and a little bit of our turquoise to create this pretty winter minty soft pastel color and we're going to go right across here for our horizon line and just work our way up right up to the top okay then we're going to take white and just start pulling and sweeping for little soft slopes and shadows I'm gonna slightly go over that so you can barely see that light minty color I've got more white on my brush I'm just gonna work that out and then I'm going to come in with a little bit of um, some cobalt blue. Get a little bit of water on my brush just to loosen up some of this paint. All right, so we just want to create some little shadows. Maybe it looks like there's some little hills. And just some little little shadows and lines now there's uh, images for this snowman from Rudolph it's from the Burl Ives um, TV program and uh, one of my favorite shows that I grew up watching as a child at Christmas and uh, now that I've got a grandson who's getting to that age where he's gonna start watching shows like this I wanted to kind of just create this painting in hopes that he might like the show too and be excited when he sees this painting and I just thought it might be something kind of different and maybe you guys could relate if you guys grew up watching this as well or like this program or this show this Christmas special leave a comment below okay so I'm gonna just wash my brush off now and move on to the next step I'm going to squeeze out a little bit of my sap green. Okay, so we've got a few little trees way off in the in the distance. So I'm going to take take a little round brush. This is a uh, number two, and I'm just going to take a little bit of my cobalt with my dark green here, and I'll start adding them in. So we've got one back here. I'm just going to dry this off quickly. Okay, I'll begin to mix up some more paint and add a little bit more now. I'm going to come in here and do different sections, kind of making it a little ripply along the bottom. And there's just a little bit back here that we can't really see. And then another one. another one and we'll have 
just another little group back here, faintly in the distance. And we're gonna take a little bit of white and mix this in here because it's kind of a more of a frosty looking one we have on this side. Now I'm going to take a little bit more of my blue and green. Just add a little bit of white and turquoise here to make this look more frosty. You want it to look dark underneath and frosty on the top. And then over these ones here. We're so far away, we don't need a lot of detail. I'm just gonna do a little line in here, so looks like there's more of a shadow in here. And then a little line. Here, and a little one that goes right here. So it sits that one back in the distance, and it kind of just brings this one forward more. Let's gonna go over this with some white. Okay, so now we have another little bit of a tree here. We'll go ahead and put that in. Same green and blue colors with just a little bit of white. And this one comes out more of like a triangle. Sort of a roundish triangle. Take a bit of white and turquoise. Lightly add that in there. And then a little bit of white for snow on the top. I'm going to come in now and overlap this and go right down to the bottom. Paint it in. I always paint around the sides a little bit. Snow on here. And then I've got some little decorations. So just a bit of white with your brown brush. Just make some little white dabs like that. And before we begin our snowman, there's a large tree comes right to about here. And I'll just do this roughly first. All the way up past the canvas. Now we're going to cover this tree up a little bit. It's all right. So scoop one, two, three, 
take a bit of white. Paint inside. Down a little bit, kind of looks like a lampshade. And we'll take our dark colors again. And we'll go underneath, make it come out slightly wider. And around. Paint that in. sort of that frosty kind of a look and then we'll do our little areas of white little patch of snow here so I'm painting it completely different how than how I would normally paint trees this is just from the image so if you guys want to go look at the image there's lots you can find it on Pinterest very just chunky blocks of snow for pattern. It's not really even a pattern. It's kind of just random areas. And then we're going to come in here, just added a few of those little dots for garland. a little bit more frost on here. And take a little bit more of my darker color. Sort of outline this here. Just leave a white spot there for the little bit of snow. It's darker right in here, gradually down into that frosty color. And then our snowman is going to be here, so I'm not going to worry too much about that area. And then we've got some more sort of scallops like this. Let's take our colors again. There's always a little bit of white in my brush with those dark colors. And then it's going to be darker right where it starts to overlap, right? Because you got the shadow under there. So we'll do that right under here as well. So it's dark to light. Now I'll add my little bit of frost in here. see this side too much because our snowman's going to be there. So we'll just do a little bit. There's a clean brush. Get the white on the tip there. Start adding some decorations. If you want to dry your painting off first, that's okay.
You can do that, no problem. And then I'll start over here. And there's going to be some uh, pink and red decorations on the tree as well, but I'm not going to do that yet. I'm just going to really lightly kind of just drag some white up here, give it more of a frosty look. And okay, so I think that looks good for now. I think we'll kind of dry this off. And actually, there's one more thing. I noticed there's like a little green ornament right here. I take my sap green and then a little bit of white inside just to add a little bit extra color there coming here along the side add some more white I'm taking quite a bit of white here Go right under the trees. Just pull some lines in here. Just to create some more shadows and highlights. I've got a filbert brush here. You can use any brush you want to create your snowman, but this is curious. This is number nine filbert. And I'm going to take scoop of white paint and we'll start along the bottom so it's kind of a squashy skinny looks like a tire <laughs> on the bottom kind of something like that and then little patch tapping like this of brighter bits of snow okay then we'll add what we can see of the next layer and the rest of him this circle is going to be covered with um his vest that he's got on and it'll come out like this And then his head. I probably got wet paint here, but that's okay. Because there's some shadows in his face. And this is just the basic outline shape for him. He's got a shadow happening right down here. So we'll just tap in a little bit of that blue green mixture along with the white in our pink, in our uh, brush. And then a line underneath goes up there. And his arm and hands come around like this. We'll do that. We'll finish that after. We do his best though, and then he's got his other one comes in here, out, oh, and then an elbow. And then we could do his umbrella, so our hooker's green, and then his little umbrella, pointy, and then it comes out wider here. We'll just do the shape of it first, just a skinny triangle. just that for now and then let's go ahead and take some black and green black green and blue 
for his vest. Goes round. Pointy. We'll cover, paint this in, this first layer. Then we'll have to dry it off and we'll come in with the next. So it comes down in a V here. It goes up and then down in a V. I'll take a bit of white with what's on my brush right now and add another shadow in here along with the outside. Make a round shadow. It slightly kind of just overlaps this area in here. And then comes out. around the outside with some white. Whoops, got too much shadow color in my brush right now. And let's take some more white. See if we're able to add this over top if my paint is drying it. Now it's still a little bit too wet, so let's just go ahead and dry this off, guys. Now while we wait for this to dry off just a little bit more, I want to outline these little garlands, these beads here, to make them uh, show up just a little bit more. And I'm going to take, what I'm going to use is my little tiny micro mini liner brush. And I'm just going to take my dark colors, so a bit of black, green, and blue. And this is dry now, so I can rest my hand here. And we're just going to simply outline them. You can come right underneath those scallops. And just carefully outline these. Don't worry about making them perfectly even. It won't matter. It's going to look so good no matter what. And I just a light little outline of the space so you can see that it's separate. We'll have to add his, um, his hat after too. right under here and, oops see so yeah you want the paint to be like right on the very tip of your brush that's what you want to be working with Okay, so now we can add some details to his umbrella, a little bit of water on my brush and the darks. I'm going to do a little line for the end of his umbrella. I'm going to outline with a dark color. And then it's going to go around 
all those lines, right? Because it's my rolled up umbrella. So we're just going to do those little lines like this. Put a few little lines here. And then just the handle will be somewhere in here. And then we can do, but his hand's gonna be around it, so I'm not gonna do too much detail. I'm gonna take a little bit of my white with my sap green or hooker's green, make a highlight here. And take some more. Just keep loading that, that paint up. Okay, so there we've got a little umbrella. We could add another highlight to his face now that this is dry so let's take our white again and make this side really bright so I'm just going to slightly go over that dark line that I created or that I added so you might just get as close as you can and then this side of his face is going to be in shadow be a little bit brighter there and then a bit of a shadow down here I'm going to take a little bit of this wet, dark color and bring some of that shadow color in here. This is going to give his face that three-dimensional look. And we need to come down, bring this a little bit lower. Make his vest come around a little bit wider. I'm going to make it pointier now. And I'm going to paint that in darker in just a minute. I'm going to come down here and add a little bit of my, a little bit more of my shadow. Just kind of scumble this in here. And we'll take some white for his arm. And it just comes and wraps around here with some fingers. We'll add a little more after. And then this arm is got a sh more of a shadow to it. He's got a little tie around his neck, so I'm just adding that. I'm going to make this a little bit wider. Take my blue and green. Now this side is going to be darker, and then it's going to start to get lighter. 
on this side. So for that, I'm just gonna wash the black out of my brush and I'm gonna take the green and go over just with straight green, but you see it's gonna be a richer green because we've overlapped it with that first layer that we put on. Well, I'm having so much fun with this painting. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I hope you're enjoying this too. And this is kind of just getting me in that Christmas spirit, bringing back the old, old Christmases that we used to have. Okay, so now I'm gonna work on his hat. So we've got a scoop that comes down like this. So just like a smile, right? Just think of this little smile. And then we're gonna leave a little line and then go up. He's going to have some little buttons, so I'll take a little bit of white and I'll do a couple buttons like this. Now he's kind of turned a bit, so I'm going to do a um, knot right down the center. I could have moved his, he still could, I guess. No, we'll just leave it. I was going to say we could come up here and line that up. All I would have to do is just take a little bit of white to do that. A little bit of white. Just even this out. I'm going to make it a little bit darker over here. So I'll create that three-dimensional look too. So it's dark right kind of by his arm there. Just a bit rounder. I'm just gonna take a little bit of my turquoise with um, the white and a little bit of black. Shadow this a little bit more, a little bit darker. Make this thicker in here, his arm. There we go. Right on his cuff here, he's got my sleeve, a few little pleats, two little black buttons, and just use the end of my brush carefully with some black paint. And then just making that gray color either tinted with blue, green, and a bit of um, the black in there in my brush. It almost looks like he's got a bit of a, <laughs> a unibrow. Kind of goes up like this, his eyebrows. I'll take some white. Just go inside. I'm going to add the paint thick so it looks 3D. Okay, so there he's got some eyebrows. And then his nose will be here. We'll do a gray first. We'll take some black. I'm going to use my pointy little round brush here. You can use a liner brush too. And we'll add two little round button eyes. 
we're gonna go right here like that and then his nose and there's a little black ish triangle for his mouth and i'm taking some white with the leftover black on my brush just make a light gray color mix it up go under there a little bit I'm just doing the first layer of his beard and mustache and then like that a little bit of white give him a lip apply his nose a little bit more here just make it a little bit darker first to start come in here soften that up a little bit and just bring his face a little bit wider right in here and then we'll add this little line I'm gonna take some of my red out now so here we've got the crimson red it's more of a blue red he has a little, I, can't, I don't know what it is, maybe a feather or something. So I'm going to take both of my reds, just a little something there. And then, so both of my reds, a little dab of each. It's the odd little red ornament on the tree. And then there's... A little present on the tree too so I'm gonna take I don't want to blend this up too much but I took a little bit of white and right in here I'll just do a simple little square a little something like that take a little bit more white go across the top here it'll be brighter and then that part this side's in shadow so I'll add a little bit of a darker line by taking a bit of my blue it's really not something you have to worry about doing you can't even it's really far away so and then we'll just put a ribbon couple ribbons, little lines of crimson red across. And then just add a little hints far away, some red ornaments. Just following the picture or the pictures, the images that I've seen you guys can definitely do your own thing with this. We'll add a little pink to his cheeks here. A little hint of that. And we're going to come over here with um, some more white inside of his nose and his mustache. Okay, so for his nose, I'm going to take... bunch of white paint on the tip of my brush 
And then we're going to go inside this mustache. And then right down under here. Still got to do the little pocket watch that he has and the plaid. So we'll do the plaid lines first. I'm going to use my longer liner brush for this. A little bit of water and we can take a little bit of our mint green color. And we'll start, kind of goes down, yeah. little V like this, and then kind of across. So just a little something like that. It doesn't have to be perfect, guys. And then he's also got like a little dot. Looks like wherever they meet. Add a few little squiggles and little lumps of snow in here. Add a little bit of a shadow. Get some water in my brush. And then right in here, I'm going to come in with some more shadow. different brush to just blend that, bring it up, bring this around, and we can add different, different lines, some overlapping like this, just to create different types of shadows going on. Right back here, there's a shadow there. And there's going to be a little bit more right in here. Darker in here. Okay, add some more white back inside of here to fix that. Maybe even make his nose look a little bit more 3D. I'll just the outline, smaller brush to do that. I can take this off. Go back to the white. And a little bit more. Make it look like he's smiling. Add that to the end of his mustache there. And a 
a little bit more shadow for his eyebrows. Let's go ahead and add that little tie there again. And he needs We need to do his little hand here as well. That's not his hand, <laughs> just in case you're wondering. That's just his sleeve. And then I'm going to adjust that a little bit more with um, some white. I don't want that to be too dark. So I'm just going to pull and flick into that. Soften that. And then we'll bring a scoop of white in here and come around with his hand that's kind of just goes over like this. So his hand's going, going through there. Kind of lost those little buttons, didn't we? We can just add them right back there. This is still looking a little bit dark, so come in here and add a little bit more of my white. And let's move over to, actually, need to bring that in there a little bit more. Come over here. can only see a few fingers. He may have more than that and I just can't see them. So we're going to go in between and outline. Make that stand out. I'm gonna go over those. I don't really like the way those look. I'm gonna add a slight highlight on his on his vest. So I'm gonna take a bit of my sap green with a little bit of turquoise, and we'll just add a little bit inside of here. Not too too much. Let's go ahead and. I've actually got, uh, you can use any color you want for this, but I've got some leftover luminous yellow from another painting I did. This is good for a gold color. You could use yellow ochre as well. So we'll do his little chain and his pocket watch. So it kind of goes, looks like there's a little line here. And then we have some loops. That goes right about here. And then a little circle. Now we can make this a little bit darker. Add some black to our brush. And yeah, I'm gonna need some black here to make this stand out. I'm gonna go down and around. And a little shadow. Now we're not going to be a, able to see everything on his watch. We just need to know that it's there, right? Let's go inside. If you can't make your chain um, like mini donuts, right? They're like little, little donuts. <laughs> then you can just go back in with some black. And I'll go around here.
You can see that there's three little tassels or whatever they are for his tie. And then we'll do a line up here and I'm going to make his V neck line for his vest come down lower because we should be able to see the uh, little bit of his chest <laughs> inside there. This is still bugging me a little bit. I'm gonna make some lines that go over like this. I just want to soften this up. It'll dry a little bit darker too, but. It won't be too bright when it dries. And then this one here needs to gradually go darker. So I'll just kind of twist around and scumble. And right in here, something bright. Add another layer of white on his watch. Carefully go in with my white and pull towards his hand to make his fingers show up a little bit more. And the little handle comes around like that. Just adding the last bit of highlights here, guys, before I call this one done. Oh, I just noticed there's a ribbon that goes straight down there, too. I might want to add, because I kind of went over. And a little bit more there. And I think just add a little bit of a shadow underneath here and then outline these. Now, as I finish adding the last details of this painting, I want to thank you guys so much for joining me. This one was so much fun, so enjoyable to paint. Kind of brought me back to, definitely brings me back to my childhood. All those Christmases where we had no worries. We were just excited. Unlike the times that we're going through now. So escape with me, guys. Let's paint something that makes us have good, happy memories and takes us out of our worry. I want to wish you guys a very Merry Christmas to you and your family. And don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time really soon in another video. Bye, everybody.